A staffing shortage felt by many industries right now is also impacting fire departments. Several departments in the Miami Valley are now searching for firefighters. Two News reporter Allison Genz is following the story and shares new information how the firefighter shortage is impacting operations. These fire departments say over the last few years it's become more and more challenging to fill firefighter positions, which means they have to rely more on surrounding communities when responding to emergencies. The Riverside Fire Department is looking to hire four to six part time firefighters. Even with lots of openings, Fire Chief Daniel Stitzel expects only a handful of applications. 25 years ago, we would have one opening and you'd end up with like 100 applicants. Now, if I have four openings, I may have 10 applicants for those four openings. Stitzel says part time firefighter positions are usually a revolving door with a high turnover rate, and that impacts even their full time staff. Once we get everybody trained up and they're really working well, then they leave. We got to start all back over. So even my full time staff, uh, I can't really get them past that basic training level. The Dayton Fire Department also hiring new full time recruits. The more folks that we have in that applicant pool, the better off we are. Public Information Officer Captain Brad French says fire departments rely on having enough people on staff to respond to emergencies. Firefighting and EMS are both very personnel sensitive uh, activities. So we need we need people and we need people that are that are well trained, that have a good attitude, that are ready to do this job. While dealing with the staffing shortage, Stitzel says fire departments depend on mutual aid from surrounding agencies and that need for outside help could get worse. Kind of a regional approach and helping each other out is what we're doing. I, I foresee that continuing and maybe even getting more so. To find out more information about the open firefighter positions and these fire departments, you can find the story on our website, WDTN.com. In Dayton, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.